Hello everybody, in this video we are going to upload the code through the USB and blink this LED. In the cube programmer, select the USB and refresh it and you got the USB and connect and uh, select the file. I'm selecting this one and upload. Power on. It's blinking. Let's get started with this. You can upload the code in three different ways through ST link to these pins or through USB to TTL converter to UART pins or through USB. In this video, we're going to do through USB. If you want to upload the code through USB, you need to upload the bootloader to the STM32 using one of these. You can use this one or this one. Today I'm going to use this one. I have shown in a different video how to use this one that's available in this area here. I have connected the ST link. Connect this one to the computer. For the bootloader, we go to this uh, GitHub repository. Uh, when we go below, he explained what are the limitations, how to build the bin file and you can also change it to suit your needs but in this video I'm going to use the bin file he created he compiled it the bin file is here we select this bin file and uh, click the download button it's downloaded now we go to cube programmer and uh, select UART or ST link I select ST link because I connected the ST link and connect it and uh, go to this button and uh, browse go to download folder this is the file we downloaded open and uh, put the address 0x 0x 08000000 this is the address we need to program program it now it's programmed now we have the bootloader. Now we can disconnect. Since we uploaded the code, we, not, we don't need this one anymore. We can remove it. We don't need this anymore. Now connect the USB to the computer. We can upload the code through the USB. Now we can go to Q program, select this one and go to USB. If it is here, you can connect. If they are not found, you can press this uh, refresh button. If it is not there, you press the reset button. Uh, press this button, the white color button. Like this. And then you refresh and then you can connect. Now it's connected but it can't read it, that's okay. Now we go, click this button and uh, browse and uh, point out to the hex file. This is the hex file for the LED blinking that I made it from Cube IDE and then open it and then start programming it's done now we can disconnect if it doesn't blink remove the power and then give the power again it will blink uh, you can use Arduino IDE also go to file preferences and uh, click this one here you need to put that uh, uh, link here we go to uh, this web address and when you go below, this is the one. I give this one in the description also. So we copy this one, we copy all of them, and uh, we put it here. I already have it here, so otherwise, you put it in the end and enter, you paste it here, and click OK. Click OK. And then go to tools. Uh, board manager and type STM32 here STM32 and install this one this one already installed otherwise you have the install button install it and then click the file and uh, examples and basics blink and then you can change it for LED built-in that is capital PC 13 and same thing here, PC13, PC13. Uh, now you can save and uh, saved it. 
You can also use this uh, serial monitor also. Normally, you do the serial begin and you can do it to work. Uh, click tools. Uh, board is a STM32 board, STM30F1 series. Click tools. Uh, part number is blue pill. This is the one. And then uh, upload method is this one. Q programmer DFU and uh, if you want to use the serial monitor you can select uh, this one CDC also this one uh, for the serial monitor you can put it here serial begin and uh, this one you put it in here so every uh, two seconds it will print so now you can click save uh, press this button the white color button and then upload the code. Yeah, it's uh, uploaded successfully. Now you can click tools and click the port and the, there will be a port assigned. Click it and then you can click the serial monitor and uh, you have working and uh, working every two seconds. Yeah, it is blinking with the uh, Arduino ID code also. If it doesn't upload, you may need to put a 2K resistor between 3.3 volt and uh, PA12, like this. The bootloader is created by uh, this uh, compiler IDE, that is uh, libopencm3. You can download this one and the source files are here. You can modify it and optimize it for your needs. Um, yeah. These are the limitation he has pointed out. This is the way how to compile and make the bootloader. And uh, the future things to do, he has pointed out three things. You can go through if you want. These are some advantage and disadvantages of uh, uh, each uh, three different way. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.